if I was climbing on sea cliffs in Cove. Cove Bay, just a few miles from here, lovely sunny day, much like today, it was March, and it didn't cross my mind that anything could go wrong. And the equipment that I'd put into the rock face to hold the rope in place came away, and I fell, hit the rocks at the bottom, and woke up four days later in Aberdeen Royal Infirmary to be told that I was paralyzed from the chest down. When I was injured, there was a really sort of monumental moment. One day, after being in bed for about three months, I'd just been laid there looking at a polystyrene ceiling for months on end with my spine in traction. And I asked if my bed could be wheeled outside because it was a really lovely spring day outside. And it was just amazing to be outside and to see trees and the colours of the leaves on the trees, the intensity of the blue sky, the cloud, watch the clouds move across the sky and just get a completely different perspective on the world. And it really made me think about what an incredible world it is and perhaps help me focus my mind not on what I couldn't do anymore but on the possibilities that might exist. So it was really powerful for me to, to have that experience. Aberdeen Royal Infirmary was originally in the centre of Aberdeen. Professor Matthew Hay many years ago had the vision to move it from the smoky centre of Aberdeen out into this wonderful greenfield site. Over recent years, however, what's happened is that we've urbanised the site with this magnificent new building behind us, with the original Aberdeen Royal Infirmary, with the new children's hospital. And what we've lost now is green space, garden space, space to take people out into. And that's why this area behind me is going to become the new therapeutic roof garden. The hospital, it's part of our community. And although we don't want to feel that we're going to need it, most of us are going to know someone who eventually will need the services of, of, of the hospital and its business. Um, so people, I think, so the community can help provide to the hospital and donate to this project will help people in the community um, through a difficult time in their lives when they're admitted to a hospital with a critical illness. Well, I uh, was involved in a road accident in November 2011 and I uh, ended up being in ARI for a good couple of months before I got moved. They looked after me very well, but I did find that the heat and not having any fresh air was a real problem for me. I've had an interesting experience since I was in hospital where I've visited other spinal injuries centres again, and it has crossed my mind that there is just nowhere but a concrete car park for anyone to go to. And it reminds me how incredible it was that I was in this place, which whilst it was an old building, it was a bit dilapidated, but there were some big doors that went outside into a huge field with trees there. And I think having that and these quite nice grounds to wheel myself around was how I kept myself sane, how I motivated myself to get better. I think it would have been a real positive thing for me because I know that when I did finally get moved to a rehabilitation unit and I was able to open the window, I mean, and see out the window and see outside space, it was just such a boost for me. It did make me, like, although it didn't improve me physically, I think just being happier improves you mentally and makes you stronger. When I began to explore the creation of a garden here, I talked with some National Trust for Scotland gardeners who I work with, and Professor Dunnett's name came up immediately. He is someone with a particular interest in greening grey spaces and working with flat roofs. We saw that dynamic planting at the Olympic Park, and we're hoping that that can be recreated in the space here. Finding out about the roof garden here was very interesting because I think a hospital is perfect for greening and although it is an extra cost I think you could make a very strong argument that it's a cost well worth putting in to not just on the rooftops but actually the whole of the landscape in hospitals to make it the most green and most fantastic experience because I think it actually has a positive health outcome as well. Aberdeen has got a, an extremely good uh, comprehensive uh, provision of healthcare services and most of them based on, on this site. The provision of uh, an outdoor facility such as the garden would just be an extra jewel in their crown as to the holistic services that we provide here. 
I think most people at some point will have a reason to be in ARI or to visit somebody. And I think most people can relate to the fact that if you just sat in a room with concrete walls, it doesn't do your, your head any good after a while. You have to get out. And that's what it's like for people in hospitals. So I think it's not going to happen on its own. And if people can just imagine themselves lying there in a room looking at bare walls for days and weeks on end, that's probably a little bit of a, a motivation to perhaps throw a, few, throw a few pounds in the pot and try and make this project happen. But I think ultimately will just benefit so many people.